the story we tell ourselves about that, that's the adventure. That's what I'm talking about. Choose your adventure. So we can have two people from the very same place with the very same parents born relatively at the very same time and have very, two very different outcomes. Why is that? Well, that's because everything that happens to them, or as I like to believe, everything that happens for them goes through a filter. And that filter is their brain. And then, based on whatever story they're telling themselves about their past, who they are, what they're capable of, what things mean to them, they then move forward based on that premise. We've all seen a movie with a lawyer, we've all watched the OJ trial, we've all seen it go down. And lawyers spend a lot of time creating the story, taking the facts and creating and building the premise from which the jury understands the case, from which the witness has to answer the questions. So, once we create that premise, that story, we can move forward in any direction we choose. So many of us tell ourselves a story of victimhood. Many of ourselves tell us tell many of ourselves tell a story of failure, of struggle, of strife. And I'm not saying that doesn't have value. I'm just saying that we can tell ourselves a story of triumph. We can tell ourselves a story of thriving. We can tell ourselves a story of, I was chosen. This must be happening or must have happened to me because I can take it and I can endure. So we can choose the story. We can, whatever happens to us, you see, we're not always responsible for what happens to us. Things can happen to us, life happens, but we can change the story. I'm gonna beat this down as much as I can. We can choose the adventure. We can choose the story we tell ourselves. And from there, create the premise for ongoing success, for championship life.